guys. Welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with. We're going to see what's on their mind of this person. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch your roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So let's get started here, Leo. Tell me about Leo and a person in love. We have Tower Moments. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth. Moment in life that pushes us to be better and do better because we deserve better. We have the Aries here. You can be dealing with the Aries when it comes to you and your person here. This person could be 28 years old, 32 years old, between 28 to 32. We also have Divine Masculine here. Okay, here's the thing. The energy that I'm getting here is that this person's definitely raising their consciousness and their vibration here when it comes to this tarot moment that they're experiencing, okay? Whoever this is, this person could be stepping into their divine masculine energy, okay? Perhaps you could also be stepping into your divine masculine energy here, okay? Where you're definitely gaining some sort of clarity here, okay? Uh, you know, I do feel like you guys have you know, awakened, uh, you guys are stepping into this higher version of yourself here. So this person that you're dealing with here could be between the ages of 28 to 40 years old, okay? So this tower moment has led to some deep transformation here for someone, all right? Let's see, what does this person have on their mind when it comes to Leo? What does this person have on their mind when it comes to Leo for December 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo, for Leo here. So Leo, we have the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords, okay? Seems like this person can't stop thinking about a future here with you, Aries. Not Aries, a Leo. Uh, I said Aries because I looked at this card, which says Aries. Like I said, you could be dealing with an Aries here. You could have Aries in your chart. Strong Aries energy, okay? Uh, could be dealing with a Scorpio here too, Leo. Let's see what else we have. We have the Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And also the Page of Swords here. It does seem like whoever this is, this is an individual here that wants to come in and clear the air here with you, Leo. This person wants to talk, okay? I mean, you could be in this Divine Masculine here and this feminine energy could be coming back around to tell you that they love you, okay? They wanna be with you here. You know, with the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I do feel like this person is very genuine and sincere about, you know, what they want when it comes to you looking towards the future here, okay? Uh, page of Swords, Queen of, uh, page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini for both. Tell me about the Three of Wands here. Why is it Three of Wands here? The Three of Wands and the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Death card here. Somebody who's really worried that this relationship or this connection is over. I feel like with yes, and time is ticking. Some of you feels like time is running out. Like I feel like, yes, I feel like it's kind of like a moment where this person wants to come back around and not waste any more time and try, try and rebuild this or rekindle this here. You know, I do, don't feel like you guys are really fully separated here, but I do feel like it's kind of like, you know, some of you is just going through some major changes, yeah. The Death card, Scorpio energy, the Queen of Swords here, and the Death card again. Two Death cards here. Someone here is going through some sort of deep spiritual transformation. And we have someone here that's looking for a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We also have the Ace of Cups here and the Eight of Pentacles. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual here that wants to work on growing and expanding here with you. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person wants to put in some big effort here in making this connection work here with you, Leo. Okay, what else do you have for, for Leo? Outcome and advice. What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on. For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. We also have the Sun, Leo energy. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. The Lovers, Gemini energy. And the Fool, Aries energy here. Okay. So what is the outcome? Let's say if someone here walked out on you here, someone here is walking back in, okay? It does seem like we have someone here, yeah. Um, here's the thing. Um, if someone here walked out on you, let's say, Leo, you're kind of like in this energy of like, you know what, I just kind of like whatever. It is what it is, okay? Uh, but, you know, I do feel like if someone here walked out on you here, someone here is willing to come back around to fight for you. Okay, some here is willing to rebuild this tower moment here with you. Now, it might come as a shocker if some here does not want to rebuild this. Like, I feel like some here might get defensive and really angry here. With well, the Sun card and the Six of Cups. Here's the thing. I do feel like you might say no here, Leo, but I feel like this person might get the best of you here by bringing up like past memories of your experiences here. And I feel like you're, you might go, aw, and then you might possibly give, give, give this person a chance here. Yeah, you possibly might give this person a chance here with the Page of Wands and also the Empress here, Libra Taurus. We also have the Lovers and also the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Fool, why is the Fool card here? And also the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Yeah, it does seem like someone here wants to win you back. So there is separation here. We have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, and the Three of Swords. And the Eight of Wands here. Someone here is coming back around with communication here of wanting to reconcile. Like I said, I feel like you they, they might be surprised on how you're going to handle this here. But I, like I said, I feel like they're going to get the best of you here. Okay. Yeah, we have Yes. <coughs> it does seem like you guys might give this another chance here. Let's see. Yeah, union in sync. Working in perfect rhythm with each other. Feeling, seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished. Fully present with that person. Mind, body, and spirit here. So like I said, I do feel like some here is coming back changed. Some here is coming back different. Some here is actually gaining the courage or has gained the courage to look within themselves here. So it could be dealing with the Leo here also. Could be dealing with the Taurus, all right? Whoever this is, I do feel like the person is realizing their loyalty here towards you, okay? You know, I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person's coming in very loyal, trustworthy, and stable here. And I feel like this person's definitely making some sort of shift, some sort of change here, Leo, okay? Yeah, everything is happening in divine timing. So this union, this coming back together, is happening in divine timing between you and your person here, Leo. Okay? So, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.